Jason DeHarris. I'm a combat designer at Sony Santa Monica working on God of War Ascension. And you're watching Forsica on Animex. Viele kennen die Legende von Kratos, dem Sterblichen, der zum Gott wurde und die Mauern des Olymps zum Einsturz brachte. Doch es gab eine Zeit, bevor Kratos zu dem Monster wurde, das man als Geist Spartas kannte. God of War Ascension ist der nächste Teil der Hack and Slay Serie, die wir alle allzu gut kennen. Und äh, ja, eigentlich war es eine Trilogie, jetzt gibt es aber doch noch einen neuen Teil. Und äh, Jason ist bei mir. So, Jason, I thought this was supposed to be a trilogy. Now we get another part of the God of War Saga. So, how, come, how is this coming? Well, this, this tells the story before the trilogy, and this is obviously a prequel. So, it's all about him, how he's going to break his oath to Ares, the, the original God of War. and the bind that he got himself in by killing his wife and kid. So, um, if this is a, a prequel, um, of course the abilities seem to be different. And you told me you're the combat designer, so what can Kratos do this time? So this is, is a prequel. We're going to try to make Kratos less reliant on his blades, his blades of chaos. And it's more about picking up weapons in the environment and disarming AI and uh, using the weapons against them and even using uh, enemies against other enemies. So that'll be kind of the, the emphasis this game in the combat. What is his specialty this time? We, we've seen the like the whip that he has, but um, he has some supernatural powers like, like rebuilding things. This is new to me. Yes, the life cycle mechanic is uh, the newest uh, kind of power item he has in the game where he could manipulate the environment. He could go forward or he could go backwards and kind of make it pristine or he could make it back to, to rubble. And it's kind of a puzzle element where you, the player has to kind of find the, in, you know, the little in-betweens to figure out what position he needs to set it, set it up as. So uh, can the player do this all the time or is this an ability that he has to earn or can uh, use in certain moments? Well, he earns it um, in a very epic way, which I won't get into right now. But then once, once he has it, it's uh, dependent on certain parts in the environment. But he could also use it against any AI, enemy AI any time he wants to. So are there going to be more abilities that are new to the God of War series? Yes, along the way, just like the life cycle that you see here, he's going to be able to acquire more items uh, through various means by killing, you know, certain AI, certain bosses. He's also going to have uh, four elements he could pick up that's going to modify his normal blade attacks, plus all the sub weapons. I think there's about six of them he'll be able to pick up and switch between back and forth in the game. So you you tell me you're uh, the designer for Kratos and his combat. So yes. how, how is a, a daily work day in you, in your life? <laughs> Man. That's a pretty tough question. <laughs> Let's see. So daily daily work, being as the combat designer in charge of Kratos, is you know first of all figuring out how do we want to change them up for this game, right? Because there's been how many God of Wars, like six, right? So it's like we want to keep the familiar combat and then change them up. So once we have those ideas, I'm actually you know on the computer scripting certain uh, logic and just pretty much programming what's going to happen with him and even before all that we also have brainstorming sessions you know the combat team as a group gets together and we figure out certain things so it's not just me designing it in a in a cave right it's just it's a, it's like a team effort and but it all kind of i have to kind of drive it and make sure kratos is still kratos but still feels fresh so what do you really like about him as a character well i like the fact that he doesn't he kind of he doesn't ask questions first, he just kind of does things, right? And then after that, he may, he may not even ask any questions. But I just like the way he feels as a character. He's hard-hitting, you know, brutal, and just straight to the point, pretty much. There's no, no fancy stuff just for the sake of being fancy. Okay, um, I know you're not working on it, but what can you tell me about the multiplayer mode? Multiplayer mode is pretty much what you expect from God of War, like Kratos, right? His kind of fundamental aspects of brutality, hard-hitting, um, and semantic flair kind of transferred to the to the warrior you get to customize the multiplayer so you kind of start from the ground up and you work your way up to kind of like the god of war feeling when when kratos became the god of war he had all these abilities it was pretty much unstoppable and you know not even gods could stop him so that's kind of what you're looking forward to in the multiplayer is there something that you could tell the fans of the series that is totally surprising and something that they will not expect well, you think in all God of War games, you've never seen Kratos really 
you know, have much emotion on his face, but you, you might want to stay tuned for certain kind of, he might have a bigger emotional range in this game, you know, something. Is he, is he going to smile? Um, you have to stay tuned for that one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everybody always asks that. Is he going to smile? Are you going to show some teeth? You're just going to have to wait for that one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>